This is called crazy things are happening because crazy things are. <laughs> crazy things are happening. You know you see them happening. Chances are they're happening. You're acting like they haven't been. Oil spills are happening. Hurricanes are happening. Earthquakes are happening. The frequency is baffling. Had it happened since the universal blast. Planet planets in the gamut, but the future's in the past. We've been gassed, it's killing us. Faster than the asthma is, you bastard. Just the scam is disastrous. BP spilling gas on us. Imagine we don't examine the path that we've been standing in. Damage is already done, the challenge is to manage it. Mother Earth's miscarriaging. It's such a disparagement. Humanity is vanishing. Just keep up with Anderson. Crazy things are happening. You know you see them happening. Chances are they're happening. You're acting like they haven't been. Oil spills are happening. Hurricanes are happening, earthquakes are happening, the frequency is baffling, the Bronx got it happening, Queens got it happening, Brooklyn keeps it happening, Staten and Manhattan, and before you take a step again, you might want to get tapped in, don't be left wondering what happened in the past tense. contributions that women have made to the progression of humanity. Um, and if we don't, I don't know, I feel like if we don't look at, at the contributions of women in the past, then we don't really give attention enough to the women right, the young women right now who are coming up as leaders who have the potential to, to make really important contributions and changes in this world. March 7th, 2015 was International Working Women's Day for the Kasabi Senior Houses on 150 East 121st Street from 4 to 8 p.m. where the Committee to Honor Puerto Rican Women honored women such as Genoveva Clemente, an activist from the Socialist Workers' Party, and Gabriela Alvarez, a chef and wellness coach. As seen in the night's festivities, heritage means different things to several people. I grew up proud, Puerto Rican, um, but didn't know a lot about being Puerto Rican. And unfortunately, that education didn't happen until I got to college. Um, you know, I always knew, I was proud, always had my flag, always represented, but didn't really know what it meant to be Puerto Rican and the rich history um, that is part of our culture. Um, so again, this is, this is one of those moments where I just, you know, it's amazing, like we have so many people who are part of our community that just, you know, people don't know about. Um, and, you know, this is one of these, these um, presentations that bring that to the fore. Two especially important women highlighted that night were Genoveva Clemente, who in all 84 years of her life fought for Puerto Rican independence in ending war and constantly promoted her home country, and Doña Isabel Rosado, who also fought for workers' rights and Puerto Rico's independence, finding herself in the Hayuya Uprising of 1950 and lived by the phrase, the less you have, the better, never giving up in all, 100, all 106 years of living. They are merely a small sample of important women in Puerto Rican communities. Roughly a third of working class Puerto Rican women were forced to be sterilized in order to be employed since 1917. And in response to American imperialism and economic exploitation, several women like Luisa Capetillo campaigned for workers' rights. Capetillo was responsible for Puerto Rico's minimum wage laws in the late 1910s. Throughout the 20th century, women like Lolita Lebron, with nationalistic spirit, fought for Puerto Rico's independence, as well as women's right to be publicly active in government. Situations like these are why it's important to recognize women from the past, to make a better future for the next generation of women.